Hello and welcome to another session on circles. And uh, as we have been doing so far, we are trying to validate each and every theorem what we are uh, proving in the second part. So here is another theorem. It says line through the centers of two intersecting circles bisects the common chord perpendicularly. That means if you see there are two circles with center O and O dash, AB is the common chord. A and B are the points of intersection of the two circles. AB is the common chord. And O, O dash is the line segment joining the two circles. And we have to prove that this line segment O, O dash bisects AB perpendicularly. That is OCA or OCB is 90 degrees. And CA is equal to CB. Okay. So before we... Uh, get in get on to the proof. Let's first see whether that is actually true. So let's first try and measure some lengths. So if you see, I'm uh, measuring A C. Okay, so 2.14. Okay, so let me just do a little bit of setting change. If you see, um, yeah. So I'm just removing the background color so then it becomes easier for you to. C. So AC is 2.14. Let us also measure CB so or BC. So this is also 2.14. Right. So same way, let us just change the settings and color, remove the background color. Very good. Now, so this is 2.14. Okay. Now we will try to see different configurations and see if it is true always. So here I am going to change the circle positions C. So I am changing the circle. So the two intersecting circles are now intersecting at different different points. Can you see A, B, the location of A and B is changing. And every time uh, A and B are the positions are changing, you can see A, C and C, B stays the same. There is no difference whatsoever. That means it's always the same. Okay. So this was in one case. Let us say if we are changing the circle position itself. Yeah. So now I'm changing it to, let's say, like that so here also if you see cb and ac are same okay right the same every time it doesn't matter which configuration is see now i'm changing the first circle so whatever it is in every such case you will find that o o dash the line joining the two centers always divide or bisect the two uh, bisect the common chord and not only bisect it's also uh, bisecting it perpendicularly right so this is what we wanted to demonstrate that you know any such you know uh, two circles which when they intersect the common chord gets bisected by the line joining the two centers okay so whether the centers are within one circle or they are outside of each other okay so this is established now what we are going to do is see when I you know when the two distance is too large there is no common card so hence no point yeah discussing that so here is the common thing and uh, yes so hence we are going to prove this now so friends so we just saw the validation of this particular theorem that line through the centers of two intersecting circle circles bisects the common chord perpendicularly we just saw this on GeoGebra and we tried to uh, get different configurations of the two circles and every time this particular theorem was valid, right? Now we are going to prove this. So we have already mentioned what's given. So A and B are points of intersection of the two circles. The two circles are mentioned over here. We have to prove that O, o dash is perpendicular to AB and AC is equal to BC. That's what we need to prove. So let's start with uh, the proof. So we are going to consider what what is the you know um, the direction for this proof so we know that ac is equal to bc can be proven if ac and bc are the corresponding parts of two congruent triangles isn't it so, but which two triangles if you see closely oac and obc are the two triangles if you prove somehow to be congruent then ac automatically will be equal to bc isn't it so let's try to prove that these two congruent these two triangle to be congruent but then for that we need few more information so given information is oa is equal to ob why because they are the radii so this is true so oa is equal to ob this is okay 
OC is also a common side, but then we have only these two information, nothing else. Correct? So if I somehow prove that this angle x is equal to this angle y, then my job is done. Right? So for proving this, we need to prove that x and y are to be equal or any other angle, maybe this angle. Um, uh, yeah, so included angle only because two sides are equal. So I have to somehow prove that x equals to y or somehow prove that c is 90 degree. But proving x equals to y would be much easier. Why? Because if you consider these two triangles, so which two triangles, guys? So triangle A, O, O dash and triangle B, O, O dash. Okay. So in these two triangles, I have O, A is equal to O, B, right? radii of same circle they are radii of same circle isn't it similarly o dash a is equal to o dash b same logic so radii of radii of same circle right and o o dash is equal to o dash o common common side isn't it common side Therefore, we can conclude that triangle AOO dash is congruent to triangle BOO dash. Is it? So, if that is true, guys, then can't we say that angle AOO dash is equal to angle BOO dash? So, we can say AOO dash is equal to BOO dash. Why? corresponding parts of congruent triangles right now this is what we wanted to achieve isn't it so hence now let's consider triangle a o c and triangle b o c so we have in this o a is equal to o b radii of the same circle radii radii of same circle isn't it then angle a o c is equal to angle b o c just proved just proved here right though it is saying a o o dash but a o o dash is a o c and we have also o c is equal to o c common side common right therefore by what law or what criteria these two triangles are congruent so by by sas criteria by sas criteria by the way this was triple s criteria right side 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 it will be side angle side in this case triangle aoc is congruent to triangle boc right so therefore we can conclude that AC is equal to BC. First, we prove that C is the midpoint. What else? Also, also angle ACO is equal to angle BCO. Right? CPCT. Both are because of CPCT. But we know that angle ACO plus angle BCO is equal to 180 degrees right guys so hence angle aco twice angle aco will be 180 degrees why because aco is equal to bco so hence angle aco is equal to 90 degrees right hence proved both the things are proved hence proved so oo dash not only bisects the quad ab why do we know and how do we know that O, o dash bisects because AC is equal to BC. We just proved. So C is the midpoint. Not only C is the midpoint, but angle ACO is 90 degree. That is the second part of the proof. Right? So hence, we could prove that the line joining the, the centers of two intersecting circles bisects the common chord perpendicularly. In the first part, we validated through the GeoGebra software. In the second part, we proved it.